this is my next experiment. Video blogging. I have Christmas music on because, um, well, it's almost Christmas. And I'm feeling very festive. Uh, but yeah, I'll post, like, random blogs. Some of them will just talk about stuff that I'm talking about on my blog or just say hello. There may just be completely random music videos of me singing because, let's face it, I like to do that. Um, but yeah, the, my, my recovery process I've decided to call, well, decided to call at the beginning of all this was Operation Out, which stands for Operation Open Up Tam, but it also works because it also means open up today. For everyone, it means open up today, but it was convenient that my name begins with a T because I could make it relevant to myself as well and everyone because I realized the less I talked about what was going on and all my problems the worse it was the more Ed eating disorder ED could stick me in a corner and hold me there and make me feel alone even though it was uncomfortable talking about it first and trying all these new things I realized the more I talk about it the more it brought me back into life let me tell you, at the beginning of this whole thing, <clears throat> I didn't believe recovery was possible. Nope. A, I didn't want it. B, I mean I wanted it, but I didn't. B, I didn't believe that I was, I was so stuck that I didn't believe I could get out. Ever. Ever. And I knew there were people that didn't, like, I mean, I believed them, but I was like, heck, props to you because that ain't happening here. But for some reason, I still believed it. I believed what I didn't believe. I call it believing in what you don't believe in. Clever name, right? <laughs> but yeah, you gotta believe what you don't believe in. And I took baby steps. I'm talking, I'm talking baby steps at the beginning. Baby. But eventually that turned into like real progress. And I was like, I might actually believe this. I might actually believe this. And it's been really interesting just blogging the whole process, ups and downs the whole ways I'm telling you. And I mean, I still experience ups and downs and sometimes it's just cruising and it'll be an up and a little down, but you can't get right back up. And I realized just being open and connecting with others about it, it's pretty good. Here, let me read you let me read you the kind of mission to my to my blog and FYI. I've used this for my eating disorder recovery. It can open up about anything. It works. Open up. Open up. But yeah, let me read you my mission-y thing real quick, and then I'll put a cap on this video. Operation Out. Operation Out has officially, officially commenced. Out as in open up Tam, which I told you. Please feel free to use this operation yourself, although in that case, it will be open up today. I'm glad I already told you all of this. Not tomorrow, though. We are going by a today basis around here. Get, don't let stuff linger. Let it out. Let it off your chest. Do it. The purpose of Operation Out is mainly to hold myself accountable. I am currently struggling in a marriage that I want nothing to do with. First off, I love relationships. I do. But I have no interest in being married at this time. Second of all, his name is Ed. Hmm. This brings me to another problem. I am a lesbian. Yeah. It is a guy. Lesbians do not marry men. I mean, I don't think they do. I mean, that would be, be quite unfortunate if they did. Yeah. Yet I am glued to my abusive relationship in my marriage with the eating disorder, Ed. Among other blog entries, I plan to incorporate Operation Out. I keep a journal of many things in my life, and Ed takes up a few of those pages. I will blog some previously written entries, blah, 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 to provide foreground, blah, 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 blah. I seriously started asking for help during April of this year, 2010. Ed and I have been unhappily married since March of 2008. Too long. And there's people that's been suffering with him longer. Guys, yell it out loud. You guys... Ed, F, Ed, just say it. I try to have fun in recovery because I feel like you gotta do something. Because 
it's, I mean, it's not the funnest thing in the world, but, but it's worth it. And you can make it fun. Where'd my paper go? I just threw it. Oh, and I just crinkled I ran over it with my, with my wheel. But yeah, um, I understand that what I, who, what I look like is not who I am. It has soaked my brain with so much aspartame that my knowledge of that is extremely blurred. It's a little less blurred. This was written a little while ago. So it's a lot less blurred, actually. Sometimes, sometimes, I'm stuck looking through glasses like this and it does it does get blurry. Or sometimes the glasses aren't aren't so thick or dark and they're more like this, where I can still see, but like it's, it's bad. And sometimes I'm like, I can see. It's great. It's great. But yeah, there's ups and downs. Ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. But let's see. I love running, but he has caused me to be obsessive and compulsive about the whole routine to the point where my brain has locked. And he's gone. I couldn't find the key for the longest time. Gone. Gone. Um, but yeah, he has hurt me psychologically, socially, and physically. He's a jerk. Now I am filing the papers and taking his skinny ass to court. I want to get out, I want to speak out, I want to reach out. I will open up today. And I hope you do too, and I hope these blogs are useful. Later guys.